Mark Rothko said, it's a risky business to send a picture out into the world. How often must it be impaired by the eyes of the unfeeling and cruelty of the impotent who would extend their affliction universally? I bumped into a sergeant, the cop that found Mark Rothko's body at an Army Reserve meeting. They tell me that you're an artist, that right, Private? Right, Sarge. Well, I'm the cop that found Rocco's body. Rothko, I said. You found Mark Rothko's body. Me and my partner, he said. We knew it was a male suicide the minute we spotted the band-aids wrapped around his fingers. Yeah, it's funny. Only guys do that. Tape their fingers before they cut their wrists. You are freaking me out, I said. Double-edged razor blades, he said. Old guys still use those blades to shave with. They don't want to cut their fingers while they're cutting their wrists. While the coroner was bagging the body, I took a very long look at Rothko's paintings and the loft. Large, huge canvases with brown squares on them. So here's my question, Private. You're an artist, I'm just a dumb cop. You tell me why those paintings sell for $50,000 a piece, because I don't get it. I'm not sure Rothko did either, Sarge, I said.